and indoor growing and urban farming rarely is anything permanent. After talking to hydroponic farmers from around the country, Bootstrap Farmer has a better way to start, grow, move, or expand their deep water culture ponds. Implementing deep water culture hydroponics is a great way to revolutionize the way you grow your leafy greens year round. Deep water culture systems boost crop yield by delivering nutrients and oxygen directly to plant roots for optimal growth conditions. DWC uses water and nutrients more effectively than traditional soil farming, reducing waste and lowering input cost. DWC ponds are for leafy greens and herbs, enabling sustainable year round production regardless of external climate conditions when grown indoors or in a greenhouse. Deep water culture helps to avoid common issue like pests and soil-borne diseases, resulting in more consistent and healthier plants. After install, growers have long-term advantages of faster growth cycles, higher yields, and the ability to provide consistently fresh, market-ready produce. These benefits not only meet, but surpass consumer expectations, making your market farm more profitable and sustainable over time. In this video, we're going to talk about the traditional overcomplication and overly expensive hydroponic systems. We're going to look at the different trends that sometimes affect the growers that are doing indoor and urban farming. And we're also going to talk about how we've taken some of those problems and have created a new solution for hydroponic growers. But before we begin, we have an extensive list of hydroponic videos with our friend Drew Dimmler of Big Tech's Urban Farm on different systems and growing hydroponically overall. We also have videos planned to discuss daily deep water culture management and growing tips. So subscribe now and comment below any questions you may have about hydroponic growing so we can tailor those videos especially to you. So a lot of the problems that hydroponic growers tend to have, especially in the beginning, is an overwhelming amount of information in which systems become overcomplicated because they're presented in such a way made for much larger growers than what we tend to find at Bootstrap Farmer, which are more market garden style sized growers just wanting to produce for local markets. And with that added expense, it's highly tech driven. There's a lot of different apps. There's an overcomplication of grow lights and different sensors and monitors and dosing machines that quite frankly, as we've gone across the country and talked to hydroponic farmers, you don't see a lot of that in the field, or at least what you're led to believe in the beginning. And so we want to strip away some of those misconceptions that you have to start with everything all at once, and that it's okay to start pretty low tech and pretty simple and change how you do things over time as the systems pay for themselves. So we like to consider that each farmer is just like an individual fingerprint their market, their size, their methodology, the reasons in which they're growing, their crops, they're all different. And so to make systems in which one size is supposed to fit all, it really doesn't make sense to us because we've never been to a farm in which one farmer does it exactly like somebody else. And that should also apply to hydroponics. We also take into account that instead of relying on apps and sensors and everything to tell the owner operator what they may need to know, and that most of our farmers at Bootstrap Farmer are solo farmers or sometimes run very small teams in which the manner in which they grow is so intimate that they know what they're growing as they go and they don't need to be told by an expensive system that's just going to get outdated in a few months anyway. So Bootstrap Farmer's solution was to use what we already know in that greenhouse metal makes a great frame not only for hoop houses but also for the subframe of deep water culture ponds. And so by starting out small, and our smallest being a four foot by four foot, that's two full rafts full of leafy greens year round, and in basic kit sizes from four by four, four by eight, four by 12, and four by 16. But further than that, if you have the desire to start out bigger or you're expanding your farm, these kits can be custom bid with the help of our tech team to meet almost any single size that you may have to fit any greenhouse or any indoor grow operation. We've been trialing these kits for the last three years in farms in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Texas. And these kits range in 14 by 36, 8 foot by 40, 6 by 16, and 4 foot by 12 foot in our own studio. And because Bootstrap Farmer wants to get away from that kind of mono approach to hydroponic systems, we encourage growers who are interested to call into our tech line, talk about your situation and help us help you find a cost-effective solution for your hydroponic operation without overselling complicated systems. The next problem in hydroponics that we found, and this one really hit home for us with our work with some of the farms in the food deserts of Dallas, in that in urban farming and indoor solutions, oftentimes 
you are in a space that you don't own or that you're leasing. Well, what that means as developments happen and land ownership changes, we have seen a lot of farmers have been forced to move away from their farms after a big push of infrastructure. Also, as these farms gain success, they often outgrow the confinements within indoor and urban farming situations. And so the traditional way of building deep water culture ponds in which you set a post inside of the ground and surround it with concrete means that you're digging holes, busting up slabs or foundations, and changing the general infrastructure of somebody else's property. Eventually, as farmers tend to have to move, they have a sunk cost in those wood subframes in which they can never recoup. Our systems are not welded. They can be bolted together with very simple tools in an afternoon and put up with the rigidity to know that you're never going to have to worry about, is this thing going to last or not? But with the benefit of if you do have to move, you simply drain, undo the liner, maybe unbolt the frame in a couple of places, put it in the back of the truck and move it across town. The third problem we hope to address is within farming in general in that it's a very labor intensive process and having a deep water culture bed off the grounds means that beyond the accessibility of land, you also have the accessibility of people with back or mobility problems that they don't have to weed, they don't have to spray excessive pesticides, and they can seed, transplant, and harvest right at their knee length without getting up and down off the ground for hours on end. This type of accessibility also extends to college and learning situations in which people come in to learn more about where their local food comes from. And in this example, we talked to our friend Neil Kaufman at Dallas College, in which we have a 6 by 16 deep water culture pond in their hydroponic greenhouse. Students with accessibility issues have a much greater access to this type of system because it's up off the ground and they're going to be a lot closer and, and be able to be a part of uh, growing food in a way that they may have a little bit more challenges in, in other systems. Bootstrap Farmer deep water culture ponds are made in Texas from the same U.S. sourced galvanized steel that all of our hoop houses are made from. So no matter if you want one of our base sizes or to call our tech line for custom sizing options and prices, you can also find out if you need to heat or cool your pond or talk to our tech specialist about simple circulation pumps and aeration options. These ponds are perfect to grow year-round leafy greens. Without the use of herbicide for weed control, and little or a great reduction in pesticide sprays. Grow crops faster and more uniform and save your soil for fruiting crops, root crops, and flowers. No welding, no cement post, no wood to rot, and fast insulation. USA made and tested on real farms and college campuses. It's a great addition to any market farm with any little corner of protection indoors or inside of a greenhouse. Our deep water culture ponds are also the perfect home for the bootstrap farmer heavy duty greens rafts that drastically reduce on farm labor and cut 90% of the cleaning time as traditional rafts. Deep water culture is a revenue multiplier in consistent, perfect head lettuce, spring mixes, Asian greens and herbs. You can custom equip from readily sourced pumps, aerators, grow lights, and environmental controls to fit your budget and scale. And now we're going to hear some of our testers from around the country. So basically the pond is like a conveyor belt for lettuce. It's a lettuce factory. So it starts at one end and it gradually slowly moves to the other end where you harvest then at the other end. So the uh, issue is how far apart your plants can be. So in the beginning you have them under a grow rack that's real tight, but then you got to move them out to the pond where they finish off. So they start smaller, not from seeds, but smaller down there. And as you harvest from one end, it creates more room for you to put more plants in at the other end. So your new plants go in at one end, and your old plants go down the other end, which creates little zones for you then. In other words, down here is our planting section where our propagation rack is in the corner. We do all our raft work down here once they're cleaned and ready to be replanted, and they go right back into the conveyor belt, which again, over four weeks time, we'll be pulling them out down the other end, which is located right next to our kitchen. So all the harvesting and everything can be done down one separate end. So it does create a nice workflow. So as far as the build goes, it seemed like a lot of pieces, but it really wasn't. They were all the same pieces. You just did the same thing over and over again. It was put in a couple of screws, put the pipes together, put the liner in. That was it, really. And even putting the lining in, it's giant, but no problem. Yeah. Two people could easily do it. I'm Neil Kaufman, and I'm the Assistant Director of Sustainability for Urban Agriculture at Dallas College. 
and I oversee this greenhouse at the Mountain View campus at Dallas College. And one of the things that we do here is do a bunch of hydroponic demonstrations. And, and uh, one of the things that Bootstrap Farmer has set up for us is this deep water culture pond. And it's, uh, we love to use this pond because one, it's very, very productive. It's very efficient for us. And most importantly, it's very nimble. So, you know, being an institution of higher education, uh, who knows what's going to happen in five, ten years, um, let alone, you know, perhaps even three months. So this allows us to uh, build something that's very, very productive, very stable and very sturdy, while also knowing that, um, hey, if we get a new greenhouse, we get uh, upgrades, whatever it may be, um, we can make those changes very, very easily. We're very excited to bring this new product to market for you. Please check the links in the description below for full listing details or call our tech line Monday through Friday to learn which kit and what components would be right for your farm. To learn how the deep water culture kits are put together, please visit these build videos. And to learn more about deep culture hydroponics, check out this video with Drew from Big Tech's Urban Farms on deep water culture.